The origin of the Albanians has long been a matter of dispute among historians. Little is known about the ancient Balkan people, and they blended into one another in Thraco Illyrian and Daco Thracian contact zones even in antiquity. The Albanians first appear in the historical record in Byzantine sources of the 11th century. At this point, they were already fully Christianized. Very little evidence of pre-Christian Albanian culture survives, although Albanian mythology and folklore are of Paleo-Balkanic origin and almost all of their elements are pagan, in particular showing Greek influence. The Albanian language forms a separate branch of Indo-European, first attested in the 15th century, and is considered to have evolved from one of the Paleo-Balkan languages of antiquity. Contemporary historians conclude that, like all Balkan peoples, the Albanians are not descendants of a single ancient population, apart from the main ancestor. Prehistoric Balkan populations such as the Illyrians, Dacians, or Thracians, there is an additional admixture from Slavic, Greek, Vlach, Romano Italian, Celtic, and Germanic elements. Studies in genetic anthropology show that the Albanians share similar ancestry to many other Europeans, and especially other peoples of the Balkans. The Albanians are also one of Europe's populations that has most common ancestors within their own ethnic group, even though they share ancestors with other ethnic groups. Topic. Place of origin The Albanian language is attested in a written form only in the 15th century AD, when the Albanian ethnos was already formed. In the absence of prior data on the language, scholars have used the Latin and Slav loans into Albanian for identifying its location of origin. The place where the Albanian language was formed is uncertain. Analysis has suggested that it was in a mountainous region, rather than in a plain or seacoast. While the words for plants and animals characteristic of mountainous regions are entirely original, the names for fish and for agricultural activities are generally assumed to have been borrowed from other languages. However, considering the presence of some preserved old terms related to the sea fauna, some have assumed that this vocabulary might have been lost in the course of time after the Proto-Albanian tribes were pushed back into the inland during invasions. The Slavic loans in Albanian suggest that contacts between the two populations took place when Albanians dwelt in forests 600 to 900 meters above sea level. The overwhelming amount of mountaineering and shepherding vocabulary, coupled with the extensive influence of Latin makes it likely that the Albanians originated north of the Gyrocek line, further north and inland than the current borders of Albania suggest. It has long been recognized that there are two treatments of Latin loans in Albanian, of Old Dalmatian type and Romanian type, but that would point out to two geographic layers, coastal Adriatic and inner Balkan region. Some scholars believe that the Latin influence over Albanian is of Eastern Romance origin, rather than of Dalmatian origin, which would exclude Dalmatia as a place of origin. Adding to this the several hundred words in Romanian that are cognate only with Albanian cognates see Eastern Romance substratum, these scholars assume that Romanians and Albanians lived in close proximity at one time. The area where this might have happened is the Morava Valley in eastern Serbia. Another argument in favor of a northern origin for the Albanian language is the relatively small number of words of Greek origin, mostly from Doric dialect, even though southern Illyria neighbored the classical Greek civilization and there were a number of Greek colonies along the Illyrian coastline. However, in view of the amount of Albanian Greek isoglosses, which the scholar Vladimir Oral considers surprisingly high in comparison with the Indo-Albanian and Armeno-Albanian ones, the author concludes that this particular proximity could be the result of intense secondary contacts of two proto-dialects. Those scholars who maintain the Illyrian origin of Albanians maintain that the indigenous Illyrian tribes dwelling in South Illyria went up into the mountains when Slavs occupied the lowlands, while another version of this hypothesis maintains that the Albanians are the descendants of Illyrian tribes located between Dalmatia and the Danube, who spilled south. The scholars who support a Dacian origin of Albanians maintain that between the 3rd and 6th centuries AD, Albanians moved southwards from the Mosian area, while those scholars who maintain a Thracian origin hypothesize that the Proto Albanians are to be located in Thracian territory in the area between Nis, Skopje, Sofia, and Albania or from the Rodopi and Balkan Mountains, where they moved to Albania before the arrival of the Slavs. Primary sources References to people of unknown ethnicity in antiquity and the early Middle Ages 
In the 2nd century BC, the history of the world written by Polybius, mentions a location named Arbona Greek, Arbona Latinized form, Arbo in which some Illyrian troops, under Queen Tuta, scattered and fled to in order to escape the Romans. Arbona was perhaps an island in Liburnia or another location within Illyria. In the 2nd century AD, Ptolemy, the geographer and astronomer from Alexandria, drafted a map that shows the city of Albanopolis, located northeast of Duras in the Roman province of Macedonia and the tribe of Albanoi, which were viewed as Illyrians by later historians. In the 6th century AD, Stephanus of Byzantium, in his important geographical dictionary entitled Ethnica, Ethnica mentions a city in Illyria called Arban, Greek, Arban and gives an ethnic name for its inhabitants, in two singular number forms, i.e. Arbonios Greek Arbonios place Arbonioi Arbonioi and Arbonites Greek Arbonites place Arbonitai Arbonitai He cites Polybius as he does many other times in Ethnica Topic References to Albanians in the High Middle Ages The Arbanasi people are recorded as being half believers non-Eastern Orthodox Christians and speaking their own language in a Bulgarian text found in a Serbian manuscript dating to 1628. The text was written by an anonymous author that according to Radoslav Grujic 1934 dated to the reign of Samuel of Bulgaria 997-1014 or possibly according to RLC 1000 to 1018. In history written in 1079-1080, Byzantine historian Michael Ataliates referred to the Albanoi as having taken part in a revolt against Constantinople in 1043 and to the Arbanitai as subjects of the Duke of Dyrrhachium. It is disputed, however, whether the Albanoi of the events of 1043 refers to Albanians in an ethnic sense or whether Albanoi is a reference to Normans from southern Italy under an archaic name there was also a tribe of Italy by the name of Albani. However a later reference to Albanians from the same ateliates, regarding the participation of Albanians in a rebellion in 1078, is undisputed. Some authors like Alain Duchelier, 1968, believe that Arvanoi are mentioned in the IV Book of Alexiad by Anna Komnena c. 1148. Others believe that this is a wrong reading and interpretation of the Greek phrase ex arbanon i.e. from Arvana found in the original manuscript and in one edition bon, 1839, of Alexiad, the earliest Serbian source mentioning Albania. Arabanas is a charter by Stefan Nemanja, dated 1198, which lists the region of Pilate Palatum among the parts Nemanja conquered from Albania, de Arbanas de Albania Palatum. In the 12th to 13th centuries, Byzantine writers used the name Arbanon, medieval Greek, Arbanon for a principality in the region of Kruja. The oldest reference to Albanians in Epirus is from a Venetian document dating to 1210, which states that, "...the continent facing the island of Corfu is inhabited by Albanians." A Ragusan document dating to 1285 states, "...I heard a voice crying in the mountains in the Albanian language." Adivi anam vosum clementum in Monti in lingua albanesca. Ethnonym Shkiptar The Albanians call themselves endonym Shkiptar. There are various theories of the origin of the word. A theory by Ludwig Thalosi, Milan Soufflé and Konstantin Gyracek, which is today considered obsolete, derived the name from a Drevestine family name recorded in varying forms during the 14th century, Sheputer 1368, Skaputer 1370, Shipadar, Shibadar 1372, Shipadar 1383, 1392, Shaputer 1402, etc. Gustav Meyer derived Shkiptar from the Albanian verbs Shkipaj to speak clearly and Shkitoj to speak out, pronounce, which are in turn derived from the Latin verb Xipere, denoting brethren who speak the Albanian language, similar to the ethno-linguistic dichotomies Sloven Namak and Deutsch Walsh. This theory is also sustained by Robert Elsie. Petter Skok suggested that the name originated from Skupi Albanian, Shkupi, the capital of the Roman province of Dardania. The most accredited theory, at least among Albanians, is that of Maximilian Lamberts, who derived the word from the Albanian noun shkipe or shkipanje eagle, which, according to Albanian folk etymology, denoted a bird totem dating from the times of Skanderbeg, as displayed on the Albanian flag. According to albanologist Robert Elsie the eagle depicted in the Albanian flag derives from the Byzantine banner. 
Topic: <laughs> First attestation of the Albanian language. The oldest known document in Albanian is a 208-page manuscript discovered in the Vatican secret archives written by Theodor of Shkodra in 1210. The manuscript consists of three different works, pages 1–97 deal with theology, 98–146 with philosophy, and 147–208 with the history of the known world from 147 AD to December 1209. Paleo-Balkanic predecessors While Albanian ethnogenesis clearly postdates the Roman era, an element of continuity from the pre-Roman provincial population is widely held to be plausible on linguistic and archaeological grounds. The three chief candidates considered by historians are Illyrian, Dacian, or Thracian, but there were other non-Greek groups in the ancient Balkans, including Paeonians who lived north of Macedon and Agrinians. The Illyrian language and the Thracian language are often considered to have been in different Indo-European branches. Not much is left of the old Illyrian, Dacian or Thracian languages, which makes it difficult to match Albanian with them. There is debate on whether the Illyrian language was a centum or a satim language. It is also uncertain whether Illyrians spoke a homogeneous language or rather a collection of different but related languages that were wrongly considered the same language by ancient writers. The Venetic tribes, formerly considered Illyrian, are no longer considered categorized with Illyrians. The same is sometimes said of the Thracian language. For example, based on the toponyms and other lexical items, Thracian and Dacian were probably different but related languages. In the early 20th century, many scholars thought that Thracian and Illyrian were one language branch, but the lack of evidence has made most linguists skeptical and now reject the idea. They usually place them on different branches. The debate is often politically charged, and to be conclusive, more evidence is needed. Such evidence unfortunately may not be easily forthcoming because of a lack of sources. The area of what is now Macedonia, Kosovo, and Albania was a melting pot of Thracian, Illyrian and Greek cultures in ancient times. Topic. Illyrian origin The theory that Albanians were related to the Illyrians was proposed for the first time by the Swedish historian Johan Erik Thunman in 1774. The scholars who advocate an Illyrian origin are numerous. There are two variants of the theory, one is that the Albanians are the descendants of indigenous Illyrian tribes dwelling in what is now Albania. The other is that the Albanians are the descendants of Illyrian tribes located north of the Gyrocek line and probably north or northeast of Albania. Topic. Arguments for Illyrian origin The arguments for the Illyrian-Albanian connection have been as follows The national name Albania is derived from Albanoi, an Illyrian tribe mentioned by Ptolemy about 150 AD. From what is known from the old Balkan population's territories Greeks, Illyrians, Thracians, Dacians, the Albanian language is spoken in the same region where Illyrian was spoken in ancient times. There is no evidence of any major migration into Albanian territory since the records of Illyrian occupation. Because descent from Illyrians makes geographical sense, and there is no linguistic or historical evidence proving a replacement, then the burden of proof lies on the side of those who would deny a connection of Albanian with Illyrian. Many of what remain as attested words to Illyrian have an Albanian explanation and also a number of Illyrian lexical items toponyms, hydronyms, oronyms, anthroponyms, etc. have been linked to Albanian. Words borrowed from Greek e GK, NW, device, instrument, makana greater than asterisk moker, millstone, GK, NW, drapanon greater than asterisk draper, sickle etc. date back before the Christian era and are mostly of the Doric Greek dialect, which means that the ancestors of the Albanians were in contact with the northwestern part of ancient Greek civilization and probably borrowed words from Greek cities Dyrachium, Apollonia, etc. in the Illyrian territory, colonies which belong to the Doric division of Greek, or from contacts in the Epirus area. Words borrowed from Latin e.g. Latin orum greater than r. gold. Gaudium greater than gas. Joy, 
etc. date back before the Christian era, while the Illyrians on the territory of modern Albania were the first from the old Balkan populations to be conquered by Romans in 229–167 BC, the Thracians were conquered in 45 AD and the Dacians in 106 AD. The ancient Illyrian place names of the region have achieved their current form following Albanian phonetic rules e.g. Durachian Dur s with the Albanian initial accent Alona, Vilan e diarisis tilde vlor with rhoticism Skodra, Skodra, etc. The characteristics of the Albanian dialects Tosk and Geg in the treatment of the native and loanwords from other languages, have led to the conclusion that the dialectal split preceded the Slavic migration to the Balkans which means that in that period 5th to 6th century AD Albanians were occupying pretty much the same area around Shkuman River which straddled the Gyrocek line. Topic. Arguments against Illyrian origin The theory of an Illyrian origin of the Albanians is challenged on archaeological and linguistic grounds. Although the Illyrian tribe of the Albanoi and the place Albanopolis could be located near Kruja, nothing proves a relation of this tribe to the Albanians, whose name appears for the first time in the 11th century in Byzantine sources. According to Bulgarian linguist Vladimir I Georgiev, the theory of an Illyrian origin for the Albanians is weakened by a lack of any Albanian names before the 12th century and the relative absence of Greek influence that would surely be present if the Albanians inhabited their homeland continuously since ancient times. According to Georgiev if the Albanians originated near modern-day Albania, the number of Greek loanwords in the Albanian language should be higher. According to Georgiev, although some Albanian toponyms descend from Illyrian, Illyrian toponyms from antiquity have not changed according to the usual phonetic laws applying to the evolution of Albanian. Furthermore, place names can be a special case and the Albanian language more generally has not been proven to be of Illyrian stock. Many linguists have tried to link Albanian with Illyrian, but without clear results. Albanian shows traces of satimization within the Indo-European language tree, however the majority of Albanologists hold that unlike most satim languages it has preserved the distinction of k, and per gram, from, k, and per gram, before front vowels merged in satim languages, and there is a debate whether Illyrian was centum or satim. On the other hand, Dacian and Thracian seem to belong to satim. There is a lack of clear archaeological evidence for a continuous settlement of an Albanian-speaking population since Illyrian times. For example, while Albanian scholars maintain that the Komani Kruha burial sites support the Illyrian-Albanian continuity theory, most scholars reject this and consider that the remains indicate a population of Romanized Illyrians who spoke a Romance language. Topic. Thracian or Dacian origin Aside from an Illyrian origin, a Dacian or Thracian origin is also hypothesized. There are a number of factors taken as evidence for a Dacian or Thracian origin of Albanians. According to Vladimir Oral, for example, the territory associated with Proto-Albanian almost certainly does not correspond with that of modern Albania, i.e. the Illyrian coast, but rather that of Dacia Ripensis and farther north. The Romanian historian I. I. Rusu has originated the theory that Albanians represent a massive migration of the Carpi population pressed by the Slavic migrations. Due to political reasons the book was first published in 1995 and translated in German by Konrad Gundisch. The German historian Gottfried Schramm 1994 suggests an origin of the Albanians in the Beswa, a Thracian tribe that was Christianized as early as during the 4th century. Schramm argues that such an early Christianization would explain the otherwise surprising virtual absence of any traces of a pre-Christian pagan religion among the Albanians as they appear in history during the late Middle Ages. According to this theory, the Beswa were deported en masse by the Byzantines at the beginning of the 9th century to central Albania for the purpose of fighting against the Bulgarians. In their new homeland, the ancestors of the Albanians took the geographic name Arbanon as their ethnic name and proceeded to assimilate local populations of Slavs, Greeks, and Romans. Linguist Eric Hamp, on the other hand, posits that Albanian can be said to be related more closely to Baltic and Slavic than to anything else, and certainly not to be close to Thracian." Cities whose names follow Albanian phonetic laws, such as Shtip Stip, Shkupi, Skopia and Nish Nis lie in the areas, believed to historically been inhabited by Thracians, Paeonians and Dardani, the latter is most often considered an Illyrian tribe by ancient historians. 
While there still is no clear picture of where the Illyrian Thracian border was, Nice is mostly considered Illyrian territory. There are some close correspondences between Thracian and Albanian words. However, as with Illyrian, most Dacian and Thracian words and names have not been closely linked with Albanian v. Hamp. Also, many Dacian and Thracian placenames were made out of joined names such as Dacian Susadava or Thracian Besipara, see List of Dacian cities and List of ancient Thracian cities. While the modern Albanian language does not allow this, Bulgarian linguist Vladimir I Georgiev posits that Albanians descend from a Dacian population from Mosia, now the Morava region of eastern Serbia, and that Illyrian toponyms are found in a far smaller area than the traditional area of Illyrian settlement. According to Georgiev, Latin loanwords into Albanian show East Balkan Latin Proto-Romanian phonetics, rather than West Balkan Dalmatian phonetics. Combined with the fact that the Romanian language contains several hundred words similar only to Albanian, Georgiev proposes the Albanian language formed between the 4th and 6th centuries in or near modern-day Romania, which was Dacian territory. He suggests that Romanian is a fully Romanized Dacian language, whereas Albanian is only partly so. Albanian and Eastern Romance also share grammatical features see Balkan language union and phonological features, such as the common phonemes or the rhoticism of n. Apart from the linguistic theory that Albanian is more akin to East Balkan Romance i.e. Dacian substrate than West Balkan Romance i.e. Illyrian, Dalmatian substrate, Georgiev also notes that marine words in Albanian are borrowed from other languages, suggesting that Albanians were not originally a coastal people. According to Georgiev the scarcity of Greek loan words also supports a Dacian theory, if Albanians originated in the region of Illyria there would surely be a heavy Greek influence. Lastly, Georgiev also notes that Illyrian toponyms do not follow Albanian phonetic laws. According to historian John van Antwerp Fine, who does define Albanians in his glossary as an Indo-European people, probably descended from the ancient Illyrians, nevertheless states that these are serious non-chauvinistic arguments that cannot be summarily dismissed. Hamp, on the other hand, seems to agree with Georgiev in relation to Albania with Dacian but disagrees on the chronological order of events. Hamp argues that Albanians could have arrived in Albania through present-day Kosovo sometime in the late Roman period. Also, contrary to Georgiev, he indicates there are words that follow Dalmatian phonetic rules in Albanian, giving as an example the word dredged straight. An argument against a Thracian origin which does not apply to Dacian is that most Thracian territory was on the Greek half of the Gyrocek line, aside from varied Thracian populations stretching from Thrace into Albania, passing through Paeonia and Dardania and up into Mosia, it is considered that most Thracians were Hellenized in Thrace v. Hadanat and Macedonia. The Dacian theory could also be consistent with the known patterns of barbarian incursions. Although there is no documentation of an Albanian migration, "...during the 4th to 6th centuries the Romanian region was heavily affected by large-scale invasion of Goths and Slavs, and the Morava Valley in Serbia was a main invasion route and the site of the earliest known Slavic sites." Thus this would have been a region from which an indigenous population would naturally have fled. Topic. Theories of influence from an extinct, unidentified Romance language Romanian scholars such as Vedasescu and Mihaiescu, using lexical analysis of the Albanian language, have concluded that Albanian was heavily influenced by an extinct Romance language that was distinct from both Romanian and Dalmatian. Because the Latin words common to only Romanian and Albanian are significantly less than those that are common to only Albanian and Western Romance, Mihaiescu argues that the Albanian language evolved in a region with much greater contact to Western Romance regions than to Romanian-speaking regions, and located this region in present-day Albania, Kosovo and Western Macedonia, spanning east to Bitola and Pristina. It has been concluded that the partial Latinization of Roman-era Albania was heavy in coastal areas, the plains and along the via Ignatia, which passed through Albania. In these regions, Madgiru notes that the survival of Illyrian names and the depiction of people with Illyrian dress on gravestones is not enough to prove successful resistance against Romanization, and that in these regions there were many Latin inscriptions and Roman settlements. Madgiru concludes that only the northern mountain regions escaped Romanization. In some regions, Madgiru concludes that it has been shown that in some areas a Latinate population that survived until at least the 7th century passed on local place names, which had mixed characteristics of Eastern and Western Romance, into the Albanian language. 
Topic: Archaeological evidence. The Komen culture theory, which is generally viewed by Albanian archaeologists as archaeological evidence of evolution from Illyrian ancestors to medieval Albanians, has found little support outside Albania. Indeed, Anglo-American anthropologists highlight that even if regional population continuity can be proven, this does not translate into linguistic, much less ethnic continuity. Both aspects of culture can be modified or drastically changed even in the absence of large-scale population flux. Prominent in the discussions are certain brooch forms, seen to derive from Illyrian prototypes. However, a recent analysis revealed that whilst broad analogies are indeed evident to Iron Age Illyrian forms, the inspiration behind Komani fibulae is more closely linked to late Roman fibulae, particularly those from Balkan forts in the present-day Serbia and northwestern Bulgaria. This might suggest that after the general collapse of the Roman limes in the early 7th century, some late Roman population withdrew to Epirus. However, assemblages also have many barbarian artifacts, such as Slavic bow fibulae, Avar-styled belt mounts and Carolingian glass vessels. By contrast, beyond the immediate Adriatic littoral, most of the West Balkans including Dardania appears to have been depopulated after the early 7th century from almost a century. Another aspect of discontinuity is the design of the tombs, pits lined by limestone rocks, a construction used in the region since the Iron Age period. However the tombs in the 7th century, such burials are in a Christian context placed next to churches rather than reversion to a pagan Illyrian past. A further argument against a proto-Albanian affinity of the Komani culture is that very similar material is found in central Dalmatia, Montenegro, western Macedonia and southeastern Bulgaria, along the Via Ignatia, and even islands such as Corfu and Sardinia. The late Roman Character of the assemblages has led some to hypothesize that it represented Byzantine garrisons. However, already by this time, literary sources give testimony of widespread Slavic settlements in the Central Balkans. Specifically for Albania, the study of lexicon and toponyms might suggest that speakers of Proto Albanian, Slavic, and Romance co existed but occupied specific ecologic, economic niches. <laughs> Genetic studies Various genetic studies have been done on the European population, some of them including current Albanian population, Albanian-speaking populations outside Albania, and the Balkan region as a whole. <laughs> Y-DNA The three haplogroups most strongly associated with Albanian people EV13, R1B and J2B2 are often considered to have arrived in Europe from the Near East with the Neolithic Revolution or Late Mesolithic, early in the Holocene epoch. Within the Balkans, all three have a local peak in Kosovo, and are overall more common among Albanians, Greeks and Vlachs than Slavs albeit with some representation among Bulgarians. R1B has much higher frequencies in areas of Europe further to the west, while E1B1B and J2 are widespread at lower frequencies throughout Europe and also have very large frequencies among Greeks, Italians, Macedonians and Bulgarians. Haplogroups in the modern Albanian population is dominated by sub-clade E1B1B1A EM78 and specifically by the most common European sub-clade of EM78, EV13. EM78 most likely originated in northeastern Africa, while its subclade EV13 originated in Western Asia, and first expanded into Europe some 5,300 years ago. The current distribution of this lineage might be the result of several demographic expansions from the Balkans, such as that associated with the Neolithic Revolution, the Balkan Bronze Age, and more recently, during the Roman era with the so-called rise of Illyrican soldiery. The peak of the haplogroup in Kosovo, however, has been attributed to genetic drift. Y haplogroup J in the modern Balkans is mainly represented by the subclade J2B, also known as JM12 or JM102. Like EV13, J2B is spread throughout Europe with a seeming center and origin in the Balkans. Its relatives within the J2 clade are also found in high frequencies elsewhere in southern Europe, especially Greece and Italy, where it is more diverse. J2B itself is fairly rare outside of ethnic Albanian territory where it hovers around 14-16%, but can also be found at significant frequencies among Romanians 8.9% and Greeks 8.7%. 
A skeleton dated 1631 to 1521 BC found in a tumulus in Veliki Vanik, Croatia was tested positive for J2B2 L283. Haplogroup R1b is common all over Europe but especially common on the western Atlantic coast of Europe, and is also found in the Middle East, the Caucasus and some parts of Africa. In Europe including the Balkans, it tends to be less common in Slavic-speaking areas, where R1a is often more common. It shows similar frequencies among Albanians and Greeks at around 20% of the male population, but is much less common elsewhere in the Balkans. Y haplogroup I is represented by I1 more common in Northern Europe and I2 where several of its subclades are found in significant amounts in the South Slavic population. The specific I subclade which has attracted most discussion in Balkan studies currently referred to as I2 A 1B, defined by SNPM 423 this clade has higher frequencies to the north of the Albanophone area, in Dalmatia and Bosnia. The expansion of I2 A Din took place with the Slavic migration in the late antiquity and early Middle Ages. Haplogroup R1A is common in Central and Eastern Europe and is also common in Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent. In the Balkans, it is strongly associated with Slavic areas. A study by Perisic et al. in 2005 found the following Y-DNA haplogroup frequencies in Albanians from Kosovo with EV13 subclade of haplogroup E1B1B representing 43.85% of the total. Note that Albanians from other regions have slightly lower percentages of EV13, but similar J2B and R1B. A study by Battaglia et al. in 2008 found the following haplogroup distributions among Albanians in Albania itself. The same study by Battaglia et al. 2008 also found the following distributions among Albanians in Macedonia. A study on the Y chromosome haplotypes DYS19 STR and YAP and on mitochondrial DNA found no significant difference between Albanians and most other Europeans. Topic. mtDNA Another study of old Balkan populations and their genetic affinities with current European populations was done in 2004, based on mitochondrial DNA on the skeletal remains of some old Thracian populations from SE of Romania, dating from the Bronze and Iron Age. This study was during excavations of some human fossil bones of 20 individuals dating about 3,200 to 4,100 years, from the Bronze Age, belonging to some cultures such as Te, Montioru and Noah were found in graves from some necropoles se of Romania, namely in Zimnesia, Smini, Candesti, Choanagi Balantesti, Greatestea Kozlogenai and Sultana Malu Rozu, and the human fossil bones and teeth of 27 individuals from the early Iron Age, dating from the 10th to 7th century centuries BC from the Hallstatt era the Babada culture, were found extremely SE of Romania near the Black Sea coast, in some settlements from Dobruja, namely, Juralavcha, Satu No, Babada, Nikulaitl and Enesala Palanca. After comparing this material with the present-day European population, the authors concluded, Computing the frequency of common point mutations of the present-day European population with the Thracian population has resulted that the Italian 7.9%, the Albanian 6.3%, and the Greek 5.8% have shown a bias of closer genetic kinship with the Thracian individuals than the Romanian and Bulgarian individuals, only 4.2%. Topic: Autosomal DNA Analysis of autosomal DNA, which analyses all genetic components has revealed that few rigid genetic discontinuities exist in European populations, apart from certain outliers such as Sami, Sardinians, Basques, Finns and Kosovar Albanians. They found that Albanians, on the one hand, have a high amount of identity by descent sharing, suggesting that Albanian speakers derived from a relatively small population that expanded recently and rapidly in the last 1,500 years. On the other hand, they are not wholly isolated or endogamous because Greek and Macedonian samples shared much higher numbers of common ancestors with Albanian speakers than with other neighbors, possibly a result of historical migrations, or else perhaps smaller effects of the Slavic expansion in these populations. At the same time the sampled Italians shared nearly as much IBD with Albanian speakers as with each other. Topic. Obsolete theories. Italian theory 
Leonikos Chakokondiles c. 1423 the Byzantine historian, considered the Albanians to be an extension of the Italians. The theory has its origin in the first mention of the Albanians, disputed whether it refers to Albanians in an ethnic sense, made by Ataliates 11th century. For when subsequent commanders made base and shameful plans and decisions, not only was the island lost to Byzantium, but also the greater part of the army. Unfortunately, the people who had once been our allies and who possessed the same rights as citizens and the same religion, i.e. the Albanians and the Latins, who live in the Italian regions of our empire beyond western Rome, quite suddenly became enemies when Michael Dokianos insanely directed his command against their leaders. Topic. Caucasian theory One of the earliest theories on the origins of the Albanians, now considered obsolete, incorrectly identified the Proto-Albanians with an area of the Eastern Caucasus, separately referred to by classical geographers as Caucasian Albania, located in what roughly corresponds to modern-day southern Dagestan, northern Azerbaijan and bordering Caucasian Iberia to its west. This theory conflated the two Albanias supposing that the ancestors of the Balkan Albanians had migrated westward in the late classical or early medieval period. The Caucasian theory was first proposed by Renaissance humanists who were familiar with the works of classical geographers, and later developed by early 19th-century French consul and writer François Poucville. It was soon rendered obsolete in the 19th century when linguists proved Albanian as being an Indo-European, rather than Caucasian language. Topic. Pelasgian theory Another obsolete theory on the origin of the Albanians is that they descend from the Pelasgians, a broad term used by classical authors to denote the autochthonous inhabitants of Greece. This theory was developed by the Austrian linguist Johann Georg von Hahn in his work Albanesisch Studien in 1854. According to Hahn, the Pelasgians were the original Proto-Albanians and the language spoken by the Pelasgians, Illyrians, Epirotes and ancient Macedonians were closely related. This theory quickly attracted support in Albanian circles, as it established a claim of predecence over other Balkan nations, particularly the Greeks. In addition to establishing historic right to territory this theory also established that the ancient Greek civilization and its achievements had an Albanian origin. The theory gained staunch support among early 20th century Albanian publicists. This theory is rejected by scholars today. In contemporary times with the Arvanite revival of the Pelasgian theory, it has also been recently borrowed by other Albanian-speaking populations within and from Albania in Greece to counter the negative image of their communities. See also Albanian language Albanian nationalism List of Romanian words of possible Dacian origin with correspondence in Albanian Ethnogenesis Historiography and nationalism Origin of the Romanians Paleo-Balkan languages Prehistoric Balkans References Topic. Sources Demiraj, Shabin 1999. Prejurja e Shkiptarova ne Dryton e Deshmiv te Jus Shkipe. In Albanian. Shtepia Botuase. Shkenka. OCLC 247109289. Demiraj, Shabin 2006. The Origin of the Albanians, Linguistically Investigated. Academy of Sciences of Albania. ISBN 978-99943-817-1-5 Jones, Sean 2002. The Archaeology of Ethnicity, Constructing Identities in the Past and Present. Routledge. ISBN 978-0203438732. Kurda, Florin 2006. Southeastern Europe in the Middle Ages, 500-1250. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0521815390. William Bowden 2004. Balkan Ghosts? 
Nationalism and the Question of Rural Continuity in Albania, in Neil Christie. Landscapes of Change Rural Evolutions in Late Antiquity and the Early Middle Ages. Ashgate Publishing. ISBN 978 1 8401 46172. John Wilkes. The Archaeology of War Homeland Security in the Southwest Balkans. 3rd century AD. In Alexander Sarantis, Neil Christie. War and Warfare in Late Antiquity Current Perspectives. Brill. ISBN 978 90 Kurta, Florin 7th century Fibuli with bent stem in the Balkans. Archaeologia Bulgarica, 1749-70 Inconsistent citations Kurta, Florin 2012. Were there any Slavs in 7th century Macedonia? Istoria Skopje, 47 -71 Inconsistent citations Filipovsky, Tony 2010. The Komani Kru Settlements, and Some Aspects of Their Existence in the Ored Struga Valley v. 8th century. Macedonian Historical Review, 1 Inconsistent Citations Stepanski W. 2005. Some Controversies Connected with the Origin of the Albanians, Their Territorial Cradle and Ethnonym. Sprai Naradawasho, Syria Nawa 86, 81-96.